Hey, it's Jens. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about a software which seems to be very, very interesting when you want to edit and improve the image quality of your images. And this software is called Topaz Photo AI, which was recently published by Topaz. This software includes all the options, all the features their other software already support. So this means this software is like a package combining denoise, sharpening and gigapixel AI for upscaling within one software offering a very short and simple workflow to increase the image quality by just a click. But before we take a closer look into the software and I have prepared plenty of sample images, we need to talk about the software itself, what it costs, the features and the workflow, how to use it. Normally the software costs $199, at the moment it is on sale, so you can buy it for $169. There is an additional coupon, so you can buy it for about $140. But when you already user of the other packages, you can use it for free, which is fantastic but only when you have bought the other three packages or the bundle within the last 12 months. Otherwise, you need to buy the upgrade plan for every single software package before being able to use the new software for free. Totally frustrating. For me, this would mean I have to invest another $90 to get the new software which offers the same applications, the same features I have already bought. So I have contacted the support of Topaz to ask if this is a mistake because yeah, I have already the software. Why do I need to invest another $90? And they just told me, yeah, I have to buy the upgrade plan. This is just for new users who recently bought the bundle. So for me, the software is not really interesting because I can use all the features, I just need to use them in three different applications. So if you've bought the bundle within the last 12 months, this software is perfect because it's free. If you have not bought a single software of Topaz, this is also very interesting because the bundle just includes everything and you can save some money. Okay, let's start with this noisy image I took of a hummingbird a couple of years ago in Ecuador. The ice was about 6,400. And to get rid of the noise, I just activate the denoise option and the rest is done by the software automatically. And here the results are actually really good. You can adjust the strength by the slider, but the automatic mode works for most of the situations pretty good. Here I have a second example of a hummingbird with a very dark background. And here surprisingly the denoise option did not work at all. So the noise was not detected and the before and after image looked quite similar. Another bird. Here I just pull up the shadows to introduce a little bit of noise to the image and then we can switch from Lightroom directly into the new software and denoising works actually pretty okay but when we activate the sharpening option in my opinion the image just gets totally ruined. We have the two models and the strength slider to adjust the sharpening but here I think the result is not really getting better. When we go to the single software sharpening AI we can choose between plenty of different computation models which is really a big help to choose which algorithm proves the image and to choose which algorithm ruins the image. It's more like a one-click solution and we have to pray that the one-click solution looks good. And one thing which I really like about the photo AI is that the software automatically detects the object and the sharpening is only done at the areas where it's really needed. Okay, let's move on with an extreme crop to see how the upscaling works in an extreme situation. To be fair, the resolution here is so low that there is not much information for the software to improve the image. With just upscaling, it looks a little better Denoise and sharpening is not working at all. Now I've prepared a couple of macro shots and this Roboflyer for example here does show some improvements, especially when we turn on the denoise option. With additional sharpening, for me personally, it's a little bit too much. This art shot of a soap bubble looks pretty good. The denoise works great. The sharpening works even better and the result before after really show an extreme improvement in my opinion. Here for you macro shots which were shot with a flash at ISO 100 and here again also with the denoise and the sharpening the details on the flower just became a little bit better. So even at sharp, low noise images, you can improve the image quality by just a click. Here 
another spider shot I took. We are able to get more detail out of the image. And what I think, which is very interesting, that we'll get the exact same result as if we choose the noise with the algorithm AI clear. So photo AI somehow decides by itself which algorithm is matching best for this situation and then we can only switch the amount of or the strength of this specific algorithm which work good in most situations but not in all. So after testing it for a while I really think that I really prefer all the options I get within the single software applications this is great when you just need a solution within one click, you don't have any time to adjust anything in your image. For me, the software is not interesting because I have to buy the upgrade plan. If you don't have anything, this is really worth a try. There is a demo version, so you can try it with your own images by yourself. If there are any images missing, if you need any other comparison, just leave a comment below and maybe I'm going to add some more images. Thanks for watching. I really hope that you think that this video was helpful. And here another few examples before and after using Photo AI. Thank you.